Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, a pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning we'll take our text out of Exodus chapter 15 and verse 1, and this particular verse is a verse of victory. And uh, when we look at this, it says, Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song, uh, to the Lord and spoke saying, and they followed that with words in a song. It was a song of victory. And the reason it was a song of victory, they had been delivered from Egypt, but they were at the Red Sea. They had been delivered from the hand of Pharaoh's army and God used the waters to close up and, dis and destroy Pharaoh's army. And immediately after that, it was a time to stop and reflect and remember and implant that and embed that in their minds. When we think about music, uh, music has a way, uh, an important way of, of uh, impacting our lives. Music can transport you, a song can transport you to a specific place or time in your past. Sometimes uh, there are times and, and events that we're excited to remember. Sometimes they bring a smile and then laughter, and other times these songs may bring tears. Uh, there are songs that, that can take us and transport us to uh, events and things that have happened, uh, both good and bad. But yet they are embedded in our minds and they stir our emotions. Well, immediately coming out of this this uh, situation with uh, the, the army of Pharaoh and the victory of God, God didn't want them, Moses didn't want them to focus on the uh, how close they were to death. He wanted them to focus on the victory that he provided for them. And so Moses established a new song for them, a song that they would sing for years to come. And every time they would sing this song, it would transport them back to the time to remind them of the victory that God had given them over the army of Pharaoh by parting the Red Sea. It would be a song that was very important to them. And there would be times that we sing songs or they would sing the song and it would need to, they would need to, to remind them of the victory of God. Sometimes we need to reflect back on the victories of God in our life and they're, they're very important times. And when we think about a song, when we think about this particular song or a song, sometimes when we're, when we're at our worst, when we're uh, experiencing the worst that life has to offer, a song has a way of delivering you from that and reminding you that there's hope. One such song that has had an impact on my life for years and probably one of the most noted hymns of all times is Amazing Grace. There have been variations of that song that have gone out. They've been, it's been contemporized and which is great. The amazing grace, my chains are gone. It reminds us of what God has done for us in life. When we feel like uh, we can't go on, when we feel overwhelmed by the world, I think about God's amazing grace that saved a wretch like me. That grace is so amazing, and it gets my mind off of the situation, off of the problem I face, and reminds me of the victory that I've already won in Christ. It may be today that you need a song, that you need a new song, maybe a song that will not transport you to uh, feelings that are painful, but a song that will transport you, you know, to remind you of the victories that God has brought into your life today. Sing a song to God. Sing a new song. Sometimes a new song is an old song, but it hits us at a time in our life where it has an impact on us. And the whole concept of the song is to remind us that God is the focus and that He is more powerful than anything we face. So today, if you're down and you're out, just sing a song to God and remember that God is capable, that God can open the Red Sea and He can close the Red Sea. And God didn't give them a song uh, for Pharaoh. He gave them a song for his victory. And Moses led them in that song. They had a new song. So today, sing a song to God and let your spirit move forward. Please know this today, my friends. The Lord Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, give us a song, a new song in our heart today. And remind us of the victories that you have brought into our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.